realize this isn't your normal worship service. Hi, we're from Anderson University. Um, we're with a group called ACME, which is Anderson University Center for Ministry Education. And what that group is, is um, we're just like a group of people, of um, speakers and youth pastors and people who are aspiring to be youth pastors and pastors and worship leaders. And what they do is you church homes like this and to practice and um, learn how to be future worship leaders. So we're just so thankful that um, you let us come into your church home this morning, and we're so glad to be with you. Um, I hope that you'll participate in worship with us this morning and that um, you'll just seek God in all that we do this morning. Um, I'll go around and introduce ourselves real quick. Um, my name is Kate. I'm Brooke. My name is Misty. I'm Ignacio. I'm Ben. So, now, now you feel like you're family now. Um, I'm going to read something before we sing this first song. Um, this first song is um, called Blessed Be Your Name. And, and the writer, um, Matt Redman um, and Beth Redman, were actually going um, through a really rough time when they wrote this song. They had um, just had a miscarriage. And they wrote this song um, praising God even through um, that trial and that loss. And this song is just talking about um, praising God um, even when the, it's during a time where we don't feel like praising God. And I just felt this was really led on my heart. You know God leads something on your heart when he puts like the verse in multiple places. Um, and this verse was in my daily devotional in a book that I'm reading right now. And um, it's just talking, this scripture is from First Peter um, chapter 1. It says, For a little while you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes through through it is tested by fire, may not be found to praise, honor, and glory. Um, and then this is the little devotional excerpt that it said. It said, God is not Santa Claus or your bellhop. It's not his job to give you everything you want, exactly when you want it. Sure, God has promised to bless us, but when you major in getting by... When you major in getting by implication, you question the faith of those who may not have as much as, as much as you. That's a mistake. Claiming God's promises doesn't mean that you will escape adversity. He told you that anyway. Who, who told you that anyway? Not God. His word says, do not think it is strange condemning the fiery trial, the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. Real maturity often takes place in the crucible of pain. The truth is, you'll never know how strong your faith is until you've been there. So as we sing that song, just reflect um, on that scripture and just know that even when God is testing us through trials, that he's growing our faith and he's, um, he's teaching us something.
to share a little bit about uh, the meaning behind this song to me. Um, the song is called Love Is Here by 10th Avenue North, and it's just a call to um, realize that a lot of times we are saying, I would know God loves me if fill in the blank. And um, um, God, like, um, sorry. Um, Okay, Romans 5.8. Romans 5.8 says, um, God demonstrates his love for us in this, demonstrates present tense. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Um, love is here. Everything that we're really longing for, whether we'll say it this way or not, is really Jesus. And um, this song is just a cry out to everyone to stop searching because everything that you're searching for is really here, and his name is Jesus. So um, let that just be your focus um, as we sing this song.
Greeks and Corinthians, um, and he's reflecting on the crucifixion of Christ, says in chapter 15, verse 3, I pass on to you what was most important and what has also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scriptures say. He was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures said. He was seen by Peter and then by the twelve. After that, he was seen by 500 of his followers at one time, most of them who are still alive, though some have died. Then he was seen by James and later by the apostles. Last of all, as though I had been born at the wrong time, I also saw him. For I am the least of all the apostles. In fact, I am not even worthy to be called an apostle after the way I persecuted God's church. But whatever I am now, it is all because God poured out his special favor on me, and not without results. For I have worked harder than any of the other apostles, yet it was not I, but God who was working through me by his grace. So it makes no difference whether I preach or they preach, for we all preach the same message you have already believed. The song is called Christ is Risen.
hope you all have a great week. We're going to...